second ever killer tip of the week. Killer tips to keep you and your motorcycle safe and on the road. This week's tip is going to be a very, very basic overview of the difference between fuel injected and carbureted motorcycles. So you might be wondering what each means and should it affect your decision in getting a bike. You also might be wondering what kind of maintenance is needed. To a new rider looking for their first bike, carburetors are going to seem like kind of a taboo. Carburetors are a delicate balance to concoct the best mixture of fuel and air that power your engine. When you start your bike, air enters through the filter and vaporizes the fuel in the carburetor to create the combustion needed for power. This is why a bike has a choke. You open the choke to allow more fuel into the carburetors, creating a fuel-rich environment for easier ignition. And without making carbs seem too scary, each carb contains jets that must be properly set to allow the correct amount of fuel through the system as you crack open the throttle. And this is where carburetors can become tricky. Jets in the carburetors can get dirty and gunked up from the fuel, making them kind of like a teenager trying to get out of bed to go to high school. They can have a stubborn start, rough idling, and generally do not run as well. They require attention and cleaning, as well as the necessity of syncing each carburetor to one another. I'm not a mechanic, so I'm not really going to go too in-depth about this. There are plenty of videos on YouTube explaining how carburetors work, but you kind of get the idea. Fuel injection does exactly what carburetors do, but instead of the amount of fuel is controlled by a computer on your motorcycle, often referred to as EFI, or electronic fuel injection. This system determines the amount of fuel necessary through sensors to create the best fuel and air mixture for your engine. Through program fuel mapping, there is no finicky screws or choke. You let the computer do all the work. This is not to say they cannot go without their share of issues. With patience, a carburetor can be cleaned and reset. To work on an EFI system on your bike may take someone with special skill and may come at a price to repair or replace. So don't let a bike that's carbureted scare you away. Carburetors are becoming a passing trend as technology takes over, but with so many resources and assistance available through forums and many YouTube videos, I believe anybody with a little bit of patience can maintain a carbureted motorcycle. I hope this video gives you the push you need to decide between equally awesome machines. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.